Well, looks like we're here. Looks like we're here, folks. This is our semi-main event. I was, oh, by the way, I, was, I, I think I think I was wrong when I said it before that I was like, oh, it's gonna be the main event, but it's actually not. <laughs> we open up three v three, but we will, of course, we'll, let's, let's let's just talk about EXC. He's still looking for partners right now. We're just waiting for him to hopefully find two partners. Um, but for now, we'll, I'll explain the backstory, what, what happened, the story, and the storyline. What's what's just keep you guys up to speed because you guys, in the, as in the comments or in this case in the chat, have been uh, asking asking both of us, both myself and Matt. For story of, for like what's the story on, on this rivalry what on this matchup what's the backstory so I guess it all leads up to what happened a couple weeks ago or like I guess a month ago because it's been a while since we've done any ECW content since the Mijin draft which happened you know obviously happened last month but Goku Black since you, since EXC and Goku Black had a great Intercontinental title match at Night of Champions which I recommend go check it out because it was a good pay per view. It was, it, was, it was the last period, the last time we saw our superstars compete. Obviously, we saw Goku Black defending the Intercontinental title countless times over the past. But Chun, the gentleman, of course, Chun Li uh, actually punished uh, DiBiase, DiBiase and Goku Black for attacking poor Spider Man and and Kenzo, which supposed to be EXC's, EXC's partners tonight. Unfortunately, they've, they've been attacked from behind. There's also this, there's also footage. I'll put the footage in here, so I'll leave a time slip for Phoenix, so he can get and edit this. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was crazy. It was nuts. Of course, DiBiase and Goku Black are ambushing uh, Kenzo, and of course, adding insult to, ins insult to mostly Spider-Man and getting attacked from behind from the, from the training room. And again, this happened a couple. This, this is the same thing happened, happened again. Um, this like Kate Ash got involved, and he of course assaulted. So did poor Ken, poor Kenzo, and I know Kenzo wants his revenge against uh, Kate Ash, but Kenzo was just breathing out the last words. Uh, uh, I just want I just want Ken, Kate Ash one v one at at the Road to Victory pay per view, which is a March which is a March pay per view for is a sole East W event. So it is coming up after we get we after we after we wait from uh, from Mugen SmackDown side of things on there on the on Overdrive, but now we get to uh, it's ECW, ECW's time to shine for their pay-per-view coming up in a few weeks. So this will probably lead up to our to the next, you know, rivalry building with Kenzo and Kate Ash, two two S and two young S and K superstars. But of course, the one who just just selfishly going and trying to hunt, looking for money, which makes sense. That's why Kate Ash is now has joined the Million Dollar Inc. One of the wants to revive his career again, bring us some championship gold. And K Dash wants nothing more to bring. Hopefully, become the next ECW champion. Could be an idea. I think that's an interesting. I, for I, I, I really hate to say this, but I think it's a great idea to have K Dash, you know, revive his career because it's been a quiet time for K Dash. We haven't seen him in a long time, but I think he's going to be a, an interesting addition. But I hate it. It's just going to be at the same. Time, I really hate this decision from K Dash. What was he thinking? He just dismantled the uh, destroyed poor Foxy. I know, I know, I know. I'm sure the it's been an Android meltdown. I'm sure Fox is gonna have to be, once she gets revived, and once she gets repaired, she's still in the infirmary getting getting repairs as we speak. Unfortunately, with this with this whole incident, it's been it's been chaos with Kate with Kate Ash. I think the case I think the K will stand for chaos. Yes, I'm putting a lot of Mortal Kombat references in this one, but yeah, Goku Black Intercontinental Champion still still reigning so reigning champion ever since he won the title uh, from Rivals Clash from Spidey. And during that kickoff show, which was a pretty nice kickoff show, not gonna lie. Um, Bill, yeah, ever since then, Goku Black's been dominating the Intercontinental Division, and we'll, we'll see what happens with EXC on the other side, bringing his two partners out. The question is, well, who's gonna be EXC's two partners are gonna be? I have no idea. So that's what we're still waiting on, on, on the opportunity. So we'll hopefully come back, hope that explains everything else, hopefully, it'll, it'll, it'll be up to speed with that with that whole storyline with these guys. DiBiase, again, DiBiase ambushing those two. Poor Spider-Man and poor Kenzo. They couldn't even catch a break on training, but they trained together for, ready for the tag match. But, of course, Kate Ash got involved and ambushed poor Kenzo. And, now of course, uh, the, the, of course, the former Intercontinental Champ Spider-Man got assaulted. So, it's going to be a tough time for Spidey. He's at home He's at home resting. Thank goodness for, for Spidey. He's home, he's home resting. He's not going to be an act. He, he will not return until the next couple weeks. So, we, are, we apologize in, in advance. Um... Hopefully he feels he get he hopefully gets well soon after the attack. Hopefully Spidey can get his revenge and win back the title that he, that he uh that he lost. Hopefully he can regain back his title. 
Yeah, because Spidey's been... Actually, I'm not going to... Spidey had a, he was an underrated superstar on his... One of the fastest rising stars on ECW history. I Honestly, he was, he's a fast rising star for being out of Extreme Saturday to go into the main roster and winning... Actually, he won the finale and won the Intercontinental title. They went straight to the main roster afterwards, which I'm impressed. He's probably one of the most fastest rising stars in recent memory. But yeah, it's a shame that um, that Spidey had to, to go through this whole torture thanks to this million-dollar jackass team. Unforgivable. And same goes to Kenzo. Like, Kenzo, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about Kenzo. Hopefully he gets better soon. I mean, he's been like a victim for like all these storylines. I swear, Kenzo's been like the, the most unluckiest superstar in history. <laughs> oh my god, I feel sorry for him, man. I do. I really do. Hopefully he gets better. Um, get well soon, Kenzo. Hopefully, uh, he, he, but he's also at, at, at home resting. So when they come back in a couple weeks, I'm sure they're going to have some revenge. That'll probably be a nice way to get them ready for the Road to Victory pay-per-view, which is going to be an ECW event. going to be pretty cool to see that it's ECW's time to shine. So I like how you know, we get all brands have their solo events to get their time to, get their little, their little time to shine, build up the weeks that they want to bring in. All right, let's bring in EXE. Hopefully EXE can bring his two partners. I think we got, we got some word from EXE. He, has, he looks like he's ready. We're going to get right into it. I'll be back in a minute. Whoa, EXE picked up two partners and he made the right call. The Double Dragon Boys are back. After all, we haven't seen them in a long time. Holy moly, that's a big surprise. Uh, what a surprise, Double Dragon Boys making their appearance for this season. This is their first appearance. The Hall of Famers are here. Double Dragon Boys looking forward to hopefully get those tag team titles. Uh, but uh, I honestly... Uh, Good to, hear, good to hear the Double Dragon Boys are now have been working hard. Uh, man, good to hear from them. Uh, good to see Bill, uh, EXE picking to get made the call. And he picked out two partners. And then he got a nice Hall of Fame team with Double Dragon Boys working their way up. And they're going to be a, a possibly be a huge... They actually did survive the draft. I'm surprised they didn't survive the beach draft. They're still there, still employed, ready to go. They finally, they're finally back and they're returning. I think business finally picked up with Here Comes, here comes the Cavalry. Now it's gonna be an interesting fight here. So you see, you got um, yes, well, no, Double Dragon mostly like yes, actually no, the Nintendo like style. I guess technically Nintendo is like because Double Dragon was collaborating with Nintendo, I guess. Mm, I guess. All right. Well, anyways, we, we don't have much time. Get ready for action. Six man tag team action. Some revenge. You'll be actually also end this losing streak tonight. And it went over the Intercontinental Champ to be a big success here. Let's see, that's a little punch off the bat. Of course, K-Dash now is part of this new group. All by himself here, of course, with dismantling poor Foxy. Big Kamehameha to Jimmy. Good. And again, Kamehameha coming up. Ooh, it's, ooh, good, ooh, good move, good save by Billy. And the is still is now stuck in stuck in limbo. Is he distracted? Let's see if he's still stunned. Big, big kicks here. The XC. They made what's coming. Gutsel, Gutsel from behind. Guts, 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 Guts from behind. And a big double team from both Billy and EXC. With that follow Jimmy Lee and. and Big opportunity, big time round one comeback because he was stunned there for a minute, as he just got lucky there, for sure. And here, here, let's see what happens in round two. And you know, DiBiase, big, big super fist combo to that exploder suplex. And those, those little knives there from uh, and, oh god, they want some combo coming up, but it coming Maha on the double. That's nice, no, nice guts, 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 down, and guts, 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 down. So revenge tonight here, and Goku Black, the big flying kick, and there you have it. And that will do it. EXE finally ends his losing streak after a seven-match losing streak. Finally gets the victory and a nice feel-good win over the Intercontinental Champion, Jimmy Lee, gets a win over the champion. And that is a big win for e for EXE, thanks to Billy and Jimmy. But, but they, they has EXE and and and, and, and as our heroes get the victory 2-0. 
And that was that was some good good action here. And a nice little return for the Double Dragon Boys. As they, I'm sure DiBiase and uh, and Goku Black will not be happy about this. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure of it. Well, of course we'll we'll see up to next week. And there should be more attacks from behind. Um, maybe, possibly. But yeah, that was huge, huge, big pickup, big pickup from EXE. And then nice way to see EXE finally has finally in a happy mood. He's been very upset losing a lot. He's I can't like I'm surprised EXE was on a losing streak. So this is probably this first losing streak in a long time. So it's been a little while. It's like about seven matches in a row he's been losing. So thank God he's finally back on top. Not ends a nightmare losing streak with little with little help from his good buddies. Double Dragon Boys return to ECW, finally making their making their the 2021 start. It's a little bit, it was a little bit late, but they made it. That's no better late than never, as we as we always say. Great victory for them. Looking forward to see what they can do for next for the, for, the, for, the, for this upcoming for this season as we continue moving forward. As 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 as, 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 all, as always, Rocky Balboa always says first. It's gotta be guys. Gotta keep moving forward. And a, good, and a great win for EXC, and that's going to give probably EXC has some confidence to build, hopefully hopefully to get himself another shot for the Intercontinental title, too. A lot of contenders right now. We, we just saw Andy, we saw Necro, we saw some good hopes in the Intercontinental Division. It's, it's a very prestigious title, so we hopefully, we hopefully we can bring some more prestige into that, as I know Goku Black is not going to be happy with that either. I'm sure he'll be, he'll be just complaining and just, you know... Putting his a uh, body odor all sticking the body over all in my office. It does smell in here, in, in my office. So, uh, and, and it's it smells. It's really bad. I need to actually. That's yeah, anyone got a can of Lysol in, in the comments? If you guys can, please, like send it over, please. If you guys can, make sure it's washed. I don't want to get. I don't want to get. I don't want to get the. You know what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, great job at Exe. Nonetheless, nonetheless, Exe gets a victory. That's all we hear, and that's all we need. Exe needs to finally get some, re just to get a nice rebound win over the over the Intercontinental Champion Sakura. I think you may have to go. I think you may have to go for it. And you might as well just book Exe into a title match. I went over the. I mean, Jimmy technically pinned the Intercontinental Champion, so I'm sure some of the comments will not be. Some some million dollar Inc. fans are not gonna be happy with this. Uh, tough loss. Sorry, guys.